Now, 13 years ago, I published Excel Magic Trick 538, Dynamic Subtables Based on Master Sheet. And Parker said, is this a bit easier now with Office 365 Dynamic Arrays? Well, the answer is about a million times easier. There's the old formula that we used to have to do. Here's how easy it is. Here's our data. And we want to be able to extract based on a city. So I'm actually going to come over to the side and use Unique to get a unique list. Click on Data, Highlight, Column of City, and Enter. And sure enough, we get a unique list in the top cell, F2. We're going to sort this. So we're mixing two functions, Control, Enter. And of course, dynamic spilled arrays. Nothing really lives down in these cells. The formula only lives in the top cell. Now over here, I'm going to use data validation, which I seem to already have. But once I remove it, you go to data, data validation, or you can use the keyboard Alt-D-L. I don't want to allow any value. That's the default. So I hit Tab, type L to get to List, Tab, the source. Well, I'm going to click in the top cell, and I want to put the spilled range operator pound. That means, hey, get everything that spills from that top cell. Now when I click OK, I have a drop down. So we'll do Berkeley first. Now here's how easy it is, equals filter. I'm going to notice that this is cell B5. Click on Data. I want to highlight the entire table. Up in the formula bar, I can see there's the array. Comma, I want to include anything from this column, there it is, that equals B5. Now if I click back on the sheet and click on B5, then it puts this sheet reference in, and I don't want that. I just want this data column here to be looking at B5 on the sheet where the formula originates. So close parentheses, Control Enter. Now when I change it to Oakland, bam. Down here, that is ridiculous. Now let me show you how I did this dynamic formatting. Alt-E-A-F to remove formatting. I highlight the range. Back over to Home, Conditional Formatting, Highlight Cell Rules. Actually, we have to go to More. There it is. And from the dropdown, we select No Blanks. Format, I want a border on each cell, Fill. I'm going to always put this green, which represents a formula. You can put whatever color you want. Click OK. Click OK. And now when we go over to San Leandro, we should only have one. And not only is the formula updating, but that conditional formatting is updating too. So the moral of the story is, for the rest of Excel history, Microsoft 365 rules. Older versions do not rule. All right, we'll see you next Excel magic trick.